Why did she end up in the picture again? Should have been like a group of not that I'm complaining, but it should have been a group of them. That is my opinion. That's the body has been discovered noise. Huh? That bell just now. Could it be? A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! A, a body? That's a lie! Impossible! Someone... Someone come here! Ch that was definitely Kazuichi's voice just now! It sounds like he's nearby! Quick, it's time to get that quick level up! <laughs> Quick, we can hit that level 33 right before we go in, even though it's not necessary. Kazuichi screamed, did it really come from here? No, what am I being nervous about? There's no need reason for me to be nervous. Body discovery announcement? I won't believe it. I'm not going to believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who would believe something like that? As I raised my voice, I swiftly stepped inside the beach house. I won't believe it. The moment I stepped inside the beach house, those words mercilessly shattered into pieces. If this was all a dream, when did I, when did I begin dreaming? If this is reality, why is Mahiro on the floor covered in blood? Yeah, so yeah, this murder was accidentally, uh, spoiled for me. I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me, and I couldn't believe in anything. Our daily life has turned into a deadly life. Mahiro Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. And she was always straightforward. Toward us and toward herself, she was always facing forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why Mahiro? Why? Why did this happen to her? Also, if you really think about it, the motive provided in the game was the fact that the person who died was head was split by a baseball bat because they got rid of... Wait, were, the, were they the ones who ripped up the photographs or were they the ones who took the photographs? But they witnessed a dead body and they did nothing about it. So, muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble, and I instinctively placed my hands against the wall. Damn it! Hey, Hajime. For this, we were having a great time, right? We were excited about going to the beach. We were having a lot of fun, but why? Are you kidding me? Why did something like this happen? Someone tell me! I obviously don't know what's going on either. Oh. Huh? Um... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh. Now's not the time to make bubbles. Hurry and get the others. Ibuki in instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot, and it must have taken some time, but I didn't really know how much time had passed. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various layers were peeling off. My senses started to return around the around the time I realized that the others were already there. Huh? What the hell is this? <coughs> Why, Mahiru? girls were standing outside the door leading to the beach, their faces pale with terror. Something like this. For heaven's sake, what in the world is going on? With their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling towards the beach houses till a voice stopped them. Hold it. Ah, hold on a sec. Hmm. Those things beneath you, be careful not to step on them. What? Beneath? See? You know the footprints in front of that door. There are footprints leading out of the beach house, that's right. That's probably an important clue, so don't step on them. If you mean evidence, Monokuma mentioned it in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we will hold a class trial. What the? Another class trial? Are you serious? Then are you saying this is? That's right. One of you guys killed her. Oh, lies. Killed? That's impossible. 
Hey, hey! It's not like an accident or something. Why? If you guys think that's an accident, that still means this death was caused by someone else's actions, right? In other words, that also counts as a legitimate murder. Though such deaths fall into a gray area on this island, I will make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, dying by s dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. <laughs> well, it's impossible to get sick and die on this island. Not when Monomi takes such good care of people. What's this? Oh, speaking of which... I don't like this. There it is, the silent treatment attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me! Well, fine, I'm not gonna lose to your bashing. I've decided to become a tough kid. <laughs> this is the worst, once again, this horrible nightmare. Another victim, and it's all because of Monokuma. No way! Jeez, it's not my fault, huh? Then whose fault is it, you ask? To find out, we hold a class trial. So. Let's begin already. No wanting, just begin it's already. The Monokuma file! Okay, I shall pass out Monokuma file number two. This should start to feel familiar. Do your best. Now then, do your very best to investigate. I'll see you later. At the class trial. <laughs> class trial. Investigation. This is horrible. It's just too horrible. Hey. Then you should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Don't you have that kind of power? <laughs> that I did have the power before he appeared. Perhaps. Even if she tried to stop it. Judging from Monokuma and Minomi's relationship, there's no doubt she'd get stopped herself. <laughs> yes, Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are these ears, but they can only hear about three times that of a normal person. So basically... You have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. <laughs> I'm just the worst, a powerless rabbit like me. It's the worst. <laughs> Now's not the time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? <laughs> do we have to do it again? That, that cruel thing, we have to do it again. Why? I can't believe it. My hero was killed by one of us. Damn it! Yeah, I can't do this anymore. Investigating the class trial. Seriously, I'm done. Everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except do it. And there's no way we can just ignore the real reason my hero was killed. Hey. Yeah, the one only thing we can do is investigate. Because it's bad. Because we should never forget forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Chiaki. Well? The killer has their reasons. I understand that. It was the same for Terra Terra too. It's really all Monokuma's fault. I understand that, too. But even so, we should never forgive killing. She usually has her head in the clouds, so for her to say something like that, she probably can't forgive this at all. But that's true of me, too. Understood. Regardless, everyone is going to die if we don't do it. In order for us all to survive, we must do it. I'm gonna do it! Now let's do this! Perhaps. Mahiro probably wants us to do this, too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. I I understand if everyone's doing it, I will do it too, but but please give me a little time. Please give me time to calm myself down. Also, I will go and tell the others who aren't here about this. You are right. If you if all you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. I shall excuse myself for now. Hey. Then let us begin. Who killed Mahiro Koizumi? Why was she killed? <gasps> Gotta find out and solve this already. That's right. We have to do it. It's the only way. So we already know. There is a serial killer, or a copycat serial killer, be based upon the fact that, oh yeah, you missed the uh, reference to Handsome Jack, or Handsome Jack, uh, Genocide Jack, but they also knew it was a female. Was that established that, uh, no, Genocide Jack, everyone thought it was a dude. So, like, why do they know it in here that Genocide Jack is a female? And a middle school or high schooler in a sailor uniform. I'm the only one who can do this. First, I need to take a look at the Monokuma file. The victim is Mahiro Koizumi. Estimated time of death is around 3 p.m. Scene of the crime where the body was discovered is, the ins is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. The cause of death is a single killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. There are no other conspicuous external injuries and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. Around 3 p.m., that's the time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner. Then, if we had just gone to the beach house instead... No. Now's not the time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. Then, I'm going to find out the truth behind my hero's death. That's the only way the rest of us can survive. The 
closet door is half open. Last time I came here, that wasn't the case. That's a little suspicious. I should probably investigate inside here, too. This is pretty spacious walk-in closet. There's so much crap on the shelves and floor, only one person could stand in here. But if you think about it that way, it means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. Uh, I've been found! I've been found! Yes, you have, Monokuma. Only right, three things. Shelves, shelves. Flotation devices, snorkels, nests, there's also some paint supplies too. Hmm, there's not much else that could be related to the incident. Hmm, there's something on the floor. This yellow thing, it's a gummy candy. Finding candy on the floor in a place like this is clearly unnatural if it's connected to the incident. Did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? Well, they're already heavily throwing out that it was either Fuyuhiko or, um, you know, short and stout bitch. There's a lot of stuff jammed on the shelves, even surfboards and surf and a surfboard case, but they're not put away properly at all. Two boards are stuffed onto one shelf, and some boards have been left out instead of being put in the case. There's also an empty surfboard case as well. Jeez, how careless. Um, I guess that's everything inside the closet. Talk to Sonia? Never mind. Perhaps. Nihiro probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind However. her death. But what? But what she really wanted, she probably wanted to spend time with all of us peacefully without something like this happening. I, see. I will never forgive killing. However. Chiaki seemed quite different from her usual self. She must feel very strongly about killing. That's... It's just not Chiaki. There's no way anyone would forgive someone like that. I guess you're right. Hmm. That's weird. What do you mean? Uh, well, I wanted to call myself a little, so I thought about getting a drink from that refrigerator. And I opened it a few days ago. I'm pretty sure there's a large sure variety of drinks. Man. Well, I guess I'm just imagining thing. I mean, who cares about drinks right now? What are you talking about? Seriously, it's okay. I've resolved it on my own, so let's just drop it. What the heck? You started it. I'll look at the refrigerator in a minute. Okay, this is too weird. Something this weird should only happen in song lyrics. What is this? This is suspicious, I think. Did you find some sort of clue? See? You know the footprints from earlier? They were in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Oh, that. Well? How do you make in Kazuichi's footprints show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house? These footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Hey. Now that you mentioned it, I thought those footprints were strange too. You did? Uh. First I tried to go into the beach house from the door facing the road, but it didn't open, so I went around and tried to go in the front of the beach side door. You couldn't go inside from the roadside door because my hero's body was blocking it, right? Hmm. That's why I noticed those footprints. Those footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel look like they belong to one person. It's almost footprints leading out of the beach house, huh? That's definitely huh? suspicious. Now you mention it, Pika said she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be... Well. Unfortunately, I went swimming just got the first beach. I do not know anything about this beach. Maybe. Is that really true? But still... But these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course, my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. <gasps> then whose footprints are these? It appears. It's no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who that might be. Well, for now, it's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? Yes, it's probably an extremely important clue. Hmm. There's a lot of drinks inside the refrigerator, but compared to last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Do people take a lot of drinks from here? Not only that, the only drinks left in here look either sweetened or colored. They look unhealthy. Oh, let's look in the trash can. According to the Monokuma file, the fatal blow was dealt to Mahiro with a blunt object. That blunt object, it's this metal bat, right? Huh? This metal bat? Yep. Yes, it's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Huh? Well? There's a girl named Girl E who was killed in the game during the fourth day. Um... Oh shit, they used an actual... Okay, that is shitty, like, right there at the top. That is shit. <laughs> Let's kill with the blow from the metal pad, just like my hero. 
Hey, hey. Did you did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're fierce about the metal bat? Y yeah, that's exactly it, but did you play it too? Then I'm sure you know this, but the case this time is strongly connected to Twilight Syndrome murder case, I think. In order to solve the mystery behind me here is death, you probably need to solve that game's mysteries too. But even if you solved the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it ended. What's wrong? That's because you haven't beaten the game. Beaten? I finished the game with the game over, but were you able to beat it? Mm. I'm not some girl gamer who talks about video games she's never beaten. So what am I supposed to do to actually beat the game? Can't stop thinking about that for some reason. But for now, I should focus on the investigation. So it's okay to say that this metal bat was absolutely the murder weapon, right? Maybe there's a clue inside this trash can. That's what I thought, but and there's a bunch of old, a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. I guess it's not that easy, huh? Okay. Huh? What's this? Is this a mask? Did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket, or maybe party goods? Regardless, why is this even here? Did the killer wear that to conceal their face? No, that would totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. Um, a gaudy mask? Huh? Ah, that mask! You've seen this? Sun Witch Esperito! It is a super fun anime with a viewership surpassing 90% in my country! An anime that has a viewership of over 90%? Is Sonia's country really alright? It cannot be! Could it be? Was that mask placed next to the body? Yeah, it was. If that is true, could it be? Could it be what? I am sorry. Um, please give me more at some time. For reasons unknown, soon you're rushed out of the beach house. What's with it her? Appears. Looks like she knows something. If that's the case. I shall wait until she decides to talk about it. Hmm. For soon you'd be so worked up. It must be something big, like a serial killer. I wonder what she knows. Almost like we talked about it earlier today. And now the actual body. She's lost all life in her body. It's as if she's a shell. Is she real? Is this really the energetic Mihiro we I knew? I see her laying in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I can't connect this lifeless body to the high-spirited Mihiro. But we don't have time to wallow in sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. Slap both of my hands onto my cheeks and face Mihiro's body one more time. Mihiro is leaning against the beach house door that leads to the road. If she leaned onto the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. Maybe Mahiro tried to run away when she was attacked and tried to claw to the door. Evidence can be seen in the blood stains on the floor. They are streaked, as if she crawled through them. So she used all her energy to crawl away, leaned against the door, and took her last breath? If someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have felt really desperate. Right? Who would have guessed? There might still be things I haven't investigated yet. I guess the roadside door? And here was leaning against the door so I couldn't open it. So this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or something like that. That's right, the shower's being repaired so water can't won't come out. But what about hot water? Well, that's impossible too. If the shower's out of order, then isn't it just a waste of space? I'm sorry. Aw, just when I was planning to fix it, my magic stick was taken from me. So I never got around to fixing it. The heck? What does your magic stick have to do with repairing? You're so evil! Anyway, it's all Monokuma's fault. Everything is all Monokuma's fault. <laughs> your deaf eyes are telling me you think I'm Monokuma's accomplice? You must have read my mind. <laughs> think what you want of me. I've already given up. Got it? But let me tell you this one more time. As long as you guys work together, you should be able to stand against any kind of despair. I promise I will help with that. <laughs> What help? You're doing the opposite. Oh well, anyway, it looks like the shower room is definitely out of order. And I guess I should check the inside too. Okay, check the inside. There we go. So my question is... Oh, this is a really nice spacious shower room. If this... If it's this huge, you could all use it as a dressing room. But changing the beast house is forbidden. Jeez, what an unreasonable rule. One of the monitors. Why? Okay, whatever. Toilet! 
There's a toilet, but you really can't use it as a step stool. There's a window! It's small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow. Well, it probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through it. But I can't seem to take my mind off of it. However, the ceiling is really high, so that window is also situated in a high place. It's so high that even if I stretch out my hands, I can't reach it. It's probably about 9 feet up. And not just that, it's an iron barred window, if that's the case. Yep, it'd be impossible to go in and out through there. What? Are you still thinking about that window? Yeah, I was thinking the killer might have escaped through Leave there. Alright, I got it. I'll pitch in and help you out. Huh? Now then. Come on, give me give me a piggyback ride. I'll check the window out for you. Pitch in and help. It feels like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. I'll pick you up. If you don't hurry up, I'll punch you. She's really into this. No matter what I say, it's not going to matter. Fine, I'll just leave it to you. <laughs> don't worry, my panties are clean. I see. That's good. I let out a deep sigh and bent over under the window. Right. As she shouted, Akane jumped onto my shoulders. Ugh. Balance sucks. Make sure your stance is wider. Y you, you're a lot heavier than I expected. You don't say that to a girl who's on your head. Yeah, cause I'm so buff. Like every time I get a massage, they tell me I'm just a mass of muscles. A massage, huh? Do you have a trainer or something? Since you're the ultimate gymnast. Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. Um. I shouldn't have asked. So, how's the window? Let's see. Hmm. Let's see, I see. So that's what happened. D did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. But check it out. Ch check it out? Hold on. I'll give it a try. With the kind of on my shoulders, I created my neck up so high that I started to worry. This iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easily. That's easy. not even an iron bar, that's a window! See? My head can fit through, no problem. Then, it's not impossible to go in and out of that window? Yep, yep. I kinda jumped off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin. <laughs> Isn't this a big discovery? The problem is, how are they able to reach that window? Hmm. Even if I jump, I can't really reach it. <laughs> But if two people work together like us, it wouldn't be a problem, right? If that's the case, it would mean the killer had an accomplice. Huh? Accomplice? Sounds like a big word. Is that the name of a kung fu master? But even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as the sepsil would still be inside. Like... But if you really think about it, just one person could get out of here without help, right? Huh? Really? So, yeah, like, I got it. a freaking ninja could do it, you know? A ninja could climb fences and walls no problem, right? Hmm, just as I thought. It looks like a wall to go in and out through that window. No, to go out. You could go in if you're okay with dropping nine feet. Hi. What the heck? I even took the time to lend you my wisdom. Piss me off. You're the one who said it was suspicious, so I took the time to pitch in and help. You. It was such a waste of time to help you out. All you saw were my panties. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, well, it's not like it's the end of the world. Telling you, I didn't look at him. Guess yeah, that's pretty much everything I noticed in this shiny shower room. Oh, um, I guess I finished by investigating all I can, but there's still not enough. Just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. Looks like I should try investigating that again to find out why my hero got killed. Twilight Syndrome murder case. Girl E was killed in that game by a single blow from a metal bat. Metal bat. That's the same weapon that was used to kill my hero. That... There's no way that's just a coincidence, right? Actually, Truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. Missing link, if that's the killer's motive for the killing this time, then that mystery must be hidden in the game. What's the person who might know about that mystery sending right next to me? I should ask her about it. Also, we need to go to Mahira's room. Hey, Chiaki, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? Um, Are you done investigating here already? Huh? I think I finished investigating once through. Yep. Then let's go. Go? So... You want to know about Twilight Syndrome, right? Then I think you should actually play it yourself. Let's go. So let's go. Yeah, you're right. 
Chiaki, Chiaki leading, I left the beach house and headed over to Jabberwock Park, where that unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never, never expected that person to be waiting there. Fuyuhiko? Nagito! Hello there. Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. I'm glad you guys are doing well. So, there's the person who helped. Nagito! <laughs> Feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to the two, like, to you two like this. Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Why? Why are you here? Well... Well, there's no need to worry about a loser like me. <sighs> More importantly, did you hear? Apparently, Mahiro got killed this time. Jeez, how horrible. She was the heart of our group, always spirited and very eager to talk. For her to be killed, if only I could have taken her place i would have gladly done it amazing but still you guys will be able to shine because this outcome is full of despair right that's right no matter how dark the despair hope can shine much brighter and stronger <laughs> though i do feel bad for Mahiro, this is quite exciting how will everyone overcome despair this time mm. looks like you feel no remorse jesus usual he's acting so crazy he's almost pissing me off so why are you here who told you about Hell Mahiro? No. You don't have to make that scary face, I'll tell you, you know. Manomi. It's Manomi! Yes, it was me! You, why'd you untie Nagito without anyone's permission? Um... D did I do bad? I just wanted everyone to get along and, you know, cooperate. There's no way we'll get along, you already know what kind of guy he is. But fighting among friends is what Monokuma wants you guys to do. Now, now. Hajime, you should forgive her. Manomi is making a valid point, too. You have no right to say that. But... But now's not, now's not the time for friends to fight. There's going to be a class trial for Mahiro, right? That's right! That's right, that's why everyone must work together and have Monokuma. Enough! Enough already, just go away already. <laughs> Understood. Nagito, you too. Hurry up and get lost. Man. Well, I'm a little lonely, but I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's really no reason for me to be here. True ending? Now then. So, although I might be a bit late, I too will be doing, will do some investigating for a while. I'll try to be useful in my own way. Hmm. Who do you want to be useful to, the killer or us? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I will always be on the side of hope. So both. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. If he didn't exist, this situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it. Hey, hey. Hajime, let's just move on and start the game. You're right. Can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Huh? Hmm? I feel like I'm just going to repeat the second day and the fourth day again and then get a day game over. So, if there is a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? Well? When you get a game over, that's the walkthrough. Huh? What do you mean? Want me to tell do you? you want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? See? You should have seen it too. You know, the thing that was displayed on the game over screen. Is that... Are you talking about the message that says down five? That's right. Just so you know, that doesn't mean down five drinks or something. It means you have to press down five times. Then the hidden command is... Yep. Just have to press the down button five times when you're on the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to go to the real game. So that's the trick, just as expected of the ultimate gamer. Nope. It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just, you either get it or you don't. In fact, Nagito got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. Hacks! 